kind of neat. Um, but I don't have a microphone, as you can see, and uh, for some reason my voice is already hoarse. So uh, if you can bear with me for just a few minutes, I won't talk for too long, but there's uh, some things we're going to talk about the ground rules. And uh, for those of you who have been here before, just let you know what's going on. Um, it's a, we're doing the jump frogs today. <laughs> Um, this is the Dr. Wall's Frog Jumping Contest. You notice the signs are named that way. This is almost as old as the Bean Festival, this competition, which is pretty neat. So it's a tradition for sure. And um, I know I, I did this when I was a kid, uh, 1980. And I, I know there's a lot of you have done this. Put your hand up if you've ever done this before. Put your hand up. Put your hand up. Put your hand up. Put your hand so for some of us, this is a neat tradition, but um, it can only continue if uh, we all commit to the fact that um, we want to protect the frogs. The frogs are the most important thing in this competition. It's fun, it's funny. There's nothing better than seeing a grown dad trying to catch a frog on the ground that he can't catch, or a mom that can't catch a frog. That's I really why we're here to watch that moment. So get your cameras ready for that moment. Um, We'll go through it pretty quickly. We've got a lot of frogs this year. We'll do the small category first, the big category second. Stick around, and then we'll do the awards at the end. We've got nice certificates for all the, the winners and whatnot. You know the rules? Basically, what you're going to do, we're going to call names, and this is what we're going to do this year. You're going to come over here, and so we'll need this area cleared a little bit. You're going to come in. The, the, the jumpers are going to come in through here, and here's what you're going to do. Everybody watching? You're jumping a frog. Make sure you can see me and hear me. You're going to take your hands in this bucket, number one, and you're going to rinse them. And the reason why you're going to do that is because there's two things that frogs really don't like. In fact, there are two things that we use commonly that actually kill frogs as soon as you touch them. And that is hand sanitizer and sunscreen. Now, there, there are other chemicals antibacterial hand soap, that kind of stuff that when you touch a frog, a frog's back is the same as your tongue. A frog's back is the same as your tongue. And you can imagine if you touch a frog and you've got some chemical on your hand, on the back, that chemical immediately absorbs into the frog and it begins the process of dying as soon as you do that. So that's, and we, we don't want that to happen. Uh, we want to make sure that we are protecting the frogs, we're learning about them, and we're making this a fun event. But that's absolute paramount. So what you're going to do, Stop is, you're going to come over here, and this is just fresh water, but you're going to give your hands a real good rinse, right? And then you're going to do it again, right here. They're both just water. So we'll rinse your hands in two stages, and then you can wait here. And you know your frog is here. And when person's done, we'll call you up. You come and grab your frog and safely transport them. You can bring the bucket over if you want. And you're gonna put them in the center here. You can use your hands if you want, or you can just sort of open the bucket, whatever you wanna do. And this is, what, this is where you want your camera, right? And, <laughs> and then, frog will take three jumps, and at the end of three jumps, we'll measure your distance, and at the end, of course, the longest distance is the win. The, the record for five years, we've been doing this, my family's been doing this, volunteering to run, contest for five years and the five year record is that dotted wow. line you can see. This is five year record. I don't remember the name of who did it but they're probably here. <laughs> probably right here something. Um, so that's it. Uh, you can't touch your frog. You all know that you, know, you want to clap, you want to yell at your frog, threaten it. Um, but no, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Why do we not do this? We don't want any squish frogs. Uh, and we've also got feathers over here we can we can help you with. Uh, I think that's it. Oh yeah. Once you're done, catch your frog safely. Get it in the bucket. Bring your bucket and yourself over here. There's three and four. So if you like, you can do two more rinses on the way out. Even though frogs don't typically carry bacteria that's going to harm us. Um, you can wash your hands on the way out and then that way you go have a hot dog or something like that. Last thing I want to say before we get going is, can you turn this around? This is really the most, the second most important part is learning about the frogs that are commonly here. Most of the frogs that we see here, these are most of the frogs 
frogs we're going to see here today. Leopard frogs, trickle frogs, bull frogs, green frogs, maybe an yacht mink frog. Um, I've, we've seen one of those here before. Um, and a wood frog one year we saw. They're kind of cool. So before you leave, make sure to read this and check it out. And when you do leave, um, you know, figure out what frog you had. Go, go learn about it when you get home and see how important it is to the ecosystem. So that's uh, the second reason why we want to keep doing this. Here are some other frogs we might see. We do get the odd toad. Did anybody bring a toad this year? Anybody? Did we get any? I didn't see any toads. Usually we have a toad. They're always fun to watch. Um, and then there's some other tree frogs that we might see that is unlikely. So that's going to be on that sign over there. Yes, can you move that back on there? And uh, we'll get started. If a frog comes out into the crowd, other way, Leah. Leah, other way. You know, scream, come on. Don't move. Uh, just stand very still and let the frog Leah, flip and the mother it. scramble desperately to try to catch the frog. Alright, we'll start with the under three category. So I'm gonna call a bunch of names. Get over here and get ready to go. We got Spencer. Oh, you, yeah. He's, he's, uh, he knows what's going on. He's gonna run, he's gonna run this uh, in the next couple of years, by the way. We got David Ingram, Abby Hawk, Charlie Hawk, and Willie Hawk. You're all on deck. 